These days, you can barely whisper a secret in somebody's ear before every little detail spreads across Facebook. But the world is full of surprises, and despite the odds, there are still traditions, mysteries, and secret identities that only one person in the world knows the answer to. Here are some of the secrets that only one person knows. The Farmer's Almanac Predicting the weather is tough enough for those who do it on a daily basis. In 93! 93! <laughs> Relax. <laughs> Regardless, the Farmer's Almanac makes weather predictions over a year in advance. Meteorologist Jan Knoll claims that the Almanac is only accurate about 20 to 30 percent of the time, but what's interesting about the Almanac is how it makes its predictions. According to the Almanac's website, it uses a 200-year-old secret formula which involves no satellites, computers, or modern technology. Whatever that formula is, a man named Caleb Weatherby is the only person who knows it. As you may have guessed, the name Caleb Weatherby is a pseudonym. According to Farmer's Almanac's managing editor Sandy Duncan, the person credited with writing the Almanac has been doing it for 25 years. They're the seventh one to be called Caleb Weatherby, and they'll probably remain Caleb Weatherby for life. Then, when they pass on, a new person will take on the role of Caleb Weatherby. So basically, Caleb Weatherby is like a real-life Doctor Who, but way less exciting. 42. There are two easy ways to spot a fan of Douglas Adams' Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy novels. One, they'll probably be carrying a towel. Two, if you ask them what the meaning of life is, they'll tell you it's 42. That's because in the story, a supercomputer named Deep Thought offers this particular answer as the meaning of life, the universe, and everything, thereby confusing everyone. 42. Now, why did the late author pick the number 42? Adams claimed it was just a joke, with no deeper meaning. But that hasn't stopped readers from speculating, and comedian Stephen Fry claims to know the truth. Fry says Adams told him the true meaning of 42 before his death, and that the answer is fascinating, extraordinary, and when you think hard about it, completely obvious. However, he claims that to honor Adams' wishes, he must take the secret to the grave. So this is it. We're gonna die. Yeah. It's worth noting that Fry was friends with Adams, as well as the narrator for the Hitchhiker's Guide audiobook. On the other hand, at least one mutual acquaintance of both men claimed they're unbelievably similar, so it's very possible that Fry's claims might be a practical joke to honor the legacy of his dear friend. Campari First made in the 1800s and shipped worldwide from Italy, Campari is a liqueur made with herbs, fruit, alcohol, and water. Word on the street is that it goes great with soda, but be warned, it's apparently an acquired taste. If you're wondering how exactly those Italian wizards make this red concoction, well, mere mortals like us don't get to know the recipe. According to the magazine Saver, the exact herbs that make Campari are only known by one man, the company's factory director. Secrecy is such an important part of Campari's brand that some ingredients are shipped to the director in unmarked brown wrappers. Not even the company's executives know the secret recipe, though they do say there's a method for retrieving the secret in case something ever happens to the director. Sea Silk The light, delicate material known as sea silk, or byssus, may be the most prized fabric in the world, with a history that goes back 5,000 years. Harvested from the saliva of Mediterranean clams, byssus was used to embroider the garments of Mesopotamian kings. According to Elliot Stein of BBC, the art of harvesting, dyeing, and embroidering sea silk is now known by only one living person, 62-year-old Chiara Vio. Vio lives on the Sardinian island of Sant'Antioco. The secrets of sea silk production have been passed down in her family for over 1,000 years. She never sells her creations. They are offered as gifts, given to visitors like women hoping to become pregnant or newlywed couples. This is because Vio, like her ancestors, lives by a sacred sea oath, forbidding that sea silk ever be used for commercial purposes. The Disaster Artist Tommy Wiseau is a cult icon with an adoring fanbase, but he's also such an enigma that many wonder if he's from outer space. <laughs> What a story, Mark. Now that James Franco's The Disaster Artist has brought the myth of Tommy Wiseau to the mainstream, the question of just who the filmmaker actually is looms larger than ever. For those unfamiliar, Tommy Wiseau wrote, directed, produced, and starred in a cult flick called The Room, which is often described as the worst movie of all time. Tommy is notoriously vague about everything pertaining to his identity. Tommy used to tell everyone he's from New Orleans, but in late 2017 finally admitted he's originally from Europe like we couldn't tell. His age, however, remains a mystery. You are, what, 36, 37 years old? Whatever it is. Whatever it is, it doesn't me. matter. <laughs>
Most bizarre of all is his massive fortune, which enabled him to not only single-handedly fund the $6 million production of The Room, but also afford apartments in both San Francisco and Los Angeles at the same time. So what's the true story? Some evidence points to Poland being his country of origin. He claims his wealth came from selling Korean leather jackets, but others theorize he was in a car crash with a powerful Hollywood producer, resulting in an out-of-court settlement. One thing is for sure, the only person who knows the secret is Tommy Wiseau himself. And he likes it that way.